Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be giving you an overview and a test uh, showing this new panel I got uh, which is the Morley uh, IS uh, by Honeywell and this is the Morley DXC-1 which means it's a one loop panel so I'm going to get basically go an overview of this panel and give a test so yeah basically I won this panel on a bid on eBay a couple of months ago for about £50 um, so yeah, it was a uh, quite a good price and yeah i thought to go ahead and get it so uh yeah it all works really nicely um so yeah i'll basically give you guys an overview of it so i'm going to show you guys inside the panel to start with so open it up there we go so that's the lock that keeps that locks the panel uh, buzzers and stuff, so I'll just let you guys take a look at that. There we go. I'm not sure if that's the loop card, the big loop card and that, so yeah. Um, and it's there, go inside the panel. So we've got the so we've got inputs and outputs and stuff on the other terminals, and then uh, over here we have the loop wiring there, and then over here that extra wire there is for. A conventional sounder because I have a conventional sounder hooked up to the system at the moment. So, yeah, that, that wiring has conventional sounder, and yeah, there we go. And then down here we have the battery wires. Uh, I haven't got a battery hooked up at the moment because that's why there's a battery fault. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. And then we've got our programming port somewhere in the panel. Haven't really, haven't really um, got to the grips of knowing the panel yet, but I will hopefully get to get used to using it and that so yeah over here we have the um mains wiring there and basically that's it so yeah i think that's everything i think so yeah this panel is basically multi-protocol which means you can use uh, different protocols in this panel so this, this particular panel can accept uh, apollo uh hachiki or system sensor so I've, uh, but you can only use uh, one protocol at a time. So I'm currently using Apollo, uh, just for this video. So, yeah, it's on Apollo at the moment. Uh, also, another thing for to show you: if you look down here, you can see that there's the model number and stuff for the panel, and it's a it's a it's a region one panel. So, yeah, you can get different region panels that can do different things. You can get. I think you can get uh, one that does system sensor and Morley protocol. Um, so you can get different ones basically. This this is region one, so it can do Apollo, Hachiki, and system sensor, which I will probably be using. Which I'll, I'll try and use different protocols on this panel. Uh, I have already have the device and stuff for different protocols for this panel, and I'm going to hopefully be doing some system tests with different protocols and stuff on this panel. Uh, I won't be using. I won't be doing Apollo system tests because obviously we're currently doing Apollo system tests on a CTXFP on the home system. So, but I'll be. Do, I'll probably be doing Hochiki and system sensor system tests uh, on this panel. So I'm really excited to, to do them and that. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys inside the uh, front of the panel. So as you can see, these are all LEDs. So we've got our fire, buzzer muted, sound of silence, power, uh, fault, system fault, sound of fault, supply fault. Disablement, delayed mode, sound is disabled, earth fault, and then tests. I'm not sure what these other ones are. Uh, and yeah, uh, over here is where these zone LEDs would be, but this panel's not fit with zone LEDs because you have to buy buy them separately. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna, gonna gonna get any zone LEDs because on the screen it will tell you which zones going to fire and all that. So yeah, you have to pay for extra for zone LEDs to be fitted on the panel. Uh, over here we have obviously our buttons and stuff. So we have uh, the OK button and then up up and down arrows and that. This is where this is our num number keypad here, where we would enter the passcode for level two and three, and that's the back button. And then C is for the menu, I think. So yeah, and then over here we have mute buzzer, silence resound, system reset, extend delay, show alarm zones, evacuate, and then function one and two. Now I haven't really figured out what function one and two do, but uh, I reckon you could do something like making the sounders do alerts and stuff like that, uh, which I'll have to play around with. Uh, also as well, 
haven't got software for this panel. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the software for, for, for this panel, but I'll have to see if I need to get it, because if it's all done here, then that'd be good. Um, I mean, I've already got the software, but uh, I haven't really got a programming cable on that, so I don't know if I'll be getting that or not. So, But yeah, as you can see as well, there's, just, uh, there's some marks on the screen as well, whoever had the panel before me. So that's the only really minor thing on the panel. But apart from that, it's been working really, really good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, press press that back arrow. The back arrow is sometimes used for the menu as well. There you go. So as you can see the status, you've got your fires disabled, uh, volts in tests and actions. So if you press actions, then this takes us to the menu. So then enter the code. So you can use the default code, which is 9898. And there we go. As you can see, we've got more actions now. So we've got our test. So we could do LEDs, LCD, buzzers, or zones output. So I'm going to do LEDs to show you that. There you go. So that just tests all the LEDs on the front of the panel. And we can stop that. LCD tests the screen. There you go. Alright, stop that. Buzzer. So we can test the buzzer. There you go. This buzzer is also a lot quieter than the CTX of P buzzer, which is which is uh, which is nice. Zones obviously putting zones into tests and that. Uh, outputs I haven't really figured much out about outputs. Cassette clock, disable enable, so that's disable enable zones, groups, inputs, devices, outputs. View, you view devices. So obviously I've only got two devices hooked up, which I'll show that show those in a second. Uh, log, fault disabled, uh, alarm count system info, uh, detection mode, I don't think this does anything, uh, no detection mode configured, pattern delays, that's on currently, and then level 3 commission, press OK, and this way we could do some other stuff as well, so general options, obviously changing this, the general options, so obviously as you can see there, loop protocol, Apollo, device blinking is on, for some reason the one of the call points I have is not blinking, so I'm not sure why, because uh, it's a discovery call point, and that's not blinking for some reason. I don't know if I've got to do something in the, in the software or something. But yeah, see so some other stuff as well. So just look at that a second. But yeah, that's about it. So loop, so you can edit device and learn them. Uh, inputs, I'm not too sure about the inputs and outputs, everyone can tell me what these can do, let me know. Logic, uh, zone, zone text, so what's cool as well is you can uh, put put zone text onto the panel, uh, whereas the CETA XCP can't do that, So because you have to do it from the software, but basically this can be all done on this panel. Detection modes again, so you can set the night and day mode on this panel. Seven days timer panel, so you can do LCD contrast, clock offset, and wipe memory. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, every time I want to change the protocol, I'd have to wipe the memory on the panel, because otherwise, if I put a cheeky devices on on the Apollo, uh, while it's still on the Apollo uh, on the panel, then it might fry them. So uh, always make sure to wipe the memory before you put different protocols on. And that's basically it. So we can exit commission, and that's basically it for the. Morley panel. So now I'm going to show you guys the device we have. So we have a discovery call point. Um, I'm not no idea why it's not blinking. Um, we have a stereo detector, which does uh, which does pull. There you go, just saw it pull. Also, as well, what's good about this this panel as well is devices pull a lot slower than the C to XOP. There's only uh, only a few devices on the on the loop. Um, these two devices. And these pull a lot slower, which is quite nice compared to the XFP, where it would pull the devices a lot quicker. So the conventional for the conventional sound we have hooked up, we have a Gent C3 sounder, um, and I got I got two Gent C C3 sounders a couple of months ago on eBay, good price as well. And yeah, this is my favourite conventional sounder, Gent C3 sounder. Uh, it's on the lowest volume and it's on the Gent tone, so yeah, it sounds really nice. Um, basically that's it, so 
let's go ahead and start the test. So I think we'll start by testing the Satario detector. So I'll go ahead and give that uh, a test. So try that. So it sets the lowest volume you don't see free sound, but it's still still loud. So, but yeah, let's see if that goes off. There you go. It's trying to activate. There we go. Right, I'm not sure why it's not gone off. Just a second. There we go. There we go. As you can see, zone one is all in zone one. Yeah, so there we go. I'm not sure why, but this is saying it's on a loop open, uh, open circuit, but it's hooked up all right. So I'm not sure why it's, but it did activate, but yeah, I'm not sure why it's, it was playing up for a little bit just a second ago. So, but yeah, there you go. Let's go and test the call point. There you go. So MCP, this is recognised as an MCP. So there we go. All devices are working. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and reset the call point. So let's go ahead and do that a second. But yeah, the Gen C3 sounder. I do really like the Gen C3 sounder. It sounds really nice as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and push up. There we go. This test is probably going to re-trigger again, so let me see if I can blow into it a second. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I'll go ahead and reset that. There we go. Hopefully should, anything should be triggered again. It's like it's okay. Basically that's it. So there we go. And the fault comes back up again. This is going to press evacuate uh, and evacuate the sounders again. Just hear the, the gent tone, gent sounder. reset and basically that's it so that's gonna be it for this video of a the overview of the Morley IES DXC-1 panel I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and yeah I'll probably put this panel maybe on the, on the shelf or something or uh, in my cupboard or something and make it a system um, and I'm probably gonna be uh, doing either, using either her cheeky or system sensor devices so whenever I do a system test of the panel, you'll see uh, which system I use. So it would be a cheeky or system sensor. And I'll do some system tests uh, with the systems and that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. This will really help. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye, everyone.